Hey guys, what's up? This is Z Dog. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you today about grinding out your guns to get the gold camos. All right, so I just spent. Now I'm not gonna lie to you. This is how long it took me, and I'll tell you which one, which map is the best for grinding out your gun. I got all of my heavy ammo gun, the machine guns, the heavy ammos. They're all gold now. It took me two weeks playing five hours a day to grind these out. Now, there are some guns that literally do not shoot at all well whenever you have no attachments and even like the kring the kring and the um the is it ff1 i can't remember what it's called uh i'll show you here in a minute i'm actually holding it um it does not shoot well at all i mean it took me five hours to literally get this gun completed five hours guys i'm telling you the truth this really really sucks um, I think they have, and I got some of the best, uh, attachments on this. I mean, I got it to where the best aim and control and range and everything, the best I could possibly find, because I tried them. But I want to go through, I want to show you, man. This is my loadout. Let's go to loadouts. We'll start right here with this one. It is gold now. Now, this is the loadout that I had for this gun. This is the FFAR-1. And um, I'm just telling you, there's a couple different. You can go to the recommendation. And you can, and this is what is recommended for this. Uh, no sight at all. No optic. Um, but I like to have the red dot sight. And I tried this design. And... Even though it did all right, I still preferred the red dot sight. So, my next gun is this one. The Type 25, a gun that does okay if you're up close. Now, once you finally put attachments on it, it does all right, but you need to be mid-range. It's more of a mid-range gun. It can shoot long range. If you have really good eyesight and really good control. This is the design that I used. I left it as is because it's what did me really well. Next gun. Um, this gun is, is gold. I don't know why that's like that. I actually um, had it equipped. I don't. I don't know what happened. Uh, okay, and equip it. You want accuracy? Always look for the accuracy. Accuracy is the major thing. Under barrel is always next for me. That's important. The more accuracy, the better. Because this is a dead shot gun. I mean, you can literally get good stuff in this. So this is good right here. All right. This is what I had on it whenever I was playing it. I always stay with the uh, OWC Marksman barrel because that's just really good. And the Ranger foregrip, I always use that. Uh, the gra granulated grip tape. I sometimes use that depending on what gun. But this is good gun. This is very accurate. Now. My next gun. Now this is diamond. But it is, it is also gold as well. This was one of the first guns I actually got in gold and diamond. Um, because this was actually the second gun that got in diamond. But the first gold gun I got in gold. And the reason why is because I use it all the time. 
now it tells me that I, in order to get this, I have to unlock all gold camels for weapons of the same gun type. So you know what that means, guys? It's not done yet. What other guns do you know that are actually heavy, heavy ammunition guns? But this is considered an, an assault rifle. So, what's going on? Well, I do believe that assault rifles and the LMGs take the same ammunition. Yeah, this is really going to suck. These are also considered assault rifles, even though they're heavy heavy guns okay but anyways back to this my next gun was the AK-47 the uh, attachments that I use for this and I have this uh, I have this set for multiplayer on this but for battle royal I, it's a little different but it's a nice looking gun Alright, so I had the ASM-10, and I do not know why. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go ahead and put that on there. That's, uh, I didn't realize that I had that. I think, if I'm correct, yeah. I wanted a heavy stock. Check out my and mobility for me isn't so much sixty-three. The mobility doesn't matter that much for me, guys. Now accuracy, like I said, always does. So but this is a nice looking gun as it being gold and all that. Not bad. All right. Now, one of my favorite guns. It's got very low ranking on it. So I really need to figure out what's going on with this. Ah, it it went back to default. That's why. Uh, well, obviously, I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to go with that. 75, 65, 69 for control. Control on this is really good. It's something you really need to pay attention to. And 75. Oh, yeah. By the way, that was actually a uh, an attachment that we could get a while back. Uh, yeah, so that's just basic, but it's a nice looking gun. It's all gold, shiny. Look at how that just glistens. So. This, I mean, I'm telling you guys the truth. This took took me two weeks, guys. Two weeks, five hours a day. This gun is a is a beast. Now I remember playing with this gun. This this is this is super beast. And um, though it looks really really wicked, this gun is super super accurate. Super, super accurate, guys. Now, the gun that I... One of the guns I had uh, a fun time with was this one. Um, it, it was really, really, really fun to, to play with this one. Uh, 
I remember the attachments I had on this. I'm sorry, buddy. Not right now. This is really cool. Um, the LK24 is a uh, pretty, pretty bad little gun, man. I mean, it, it'll really give you what you need for competition. Now, I literally, when I go into each one of these to do a gun, I go in with no attachments at all. Because, look, you need 80 kills with no attachments, okay? So it's just best to get that out of the way instead of putting all the attachments on first and then completing everything and then find out you got to take all the attachments off, right? So just take all the attachments off, go in, grind it out, get your stuff. Another gun that I really, really liked was this one. Now, I didn't put the uh, sights on this, and I don't know why, but I grinded it out. It needs a sight, though, I can tell you that. Nice gun. Super slick. Very, very precise shooting. Very precise. I actually used to use that gun all the time. Uh, the Man of War was fun, but I'm not exactly sure... I like the red on it um, because it kind of makes it look like it's decked out in jewels. I mean, it looks like rubies sitting in the sides, doesn't it? it kind of. This is the design that they came out with, I believe, and I don't know why, but uh, it was a pretty good gun to play with. Now, the KN44 is an accurate gun, but you have to really, really be fast with it. You got to be super focused. Su uh, your aim's got to be really good. Your control has got to be really, really good. But it has suited me well, even whenever I go into Battle Royal. It's just a really sleek looking gun. It's got really nice detail to it. In gold, it just looks like it's just trimmed out nice. Yeah. Ah, yes, I remember this gun. The HBRA-3. Um, I, I didn't quite like it. Um, it shot really slow. Even with the best stuff I could find on it, it shot slow. I had quite a bit of difficulty with it, but I did a lot of up-close shooting with it, which helped out a lot. And notice the name of it is Black Gold. Uh, it's a gold gun. It's the gold camo for this gun, but it's called Black Gold. So it's really nice. It, it, it actually looks nice. And I, believe it or not, I think black and gold go to well, very well together, depending on the design. That one worked out really well for me. Now, now, why didn't I... Huh. Now that's... This gun was a difficult gun to fight with. Um, the HVK-30 was not my favorite gun at all. Notice I put the Ranger back on. And the graduated tape. Sometimes, sometimes, I'm sorry, Uga. Uh, sometimes... The guns are very 
different when it comes to attachments. But this is actually a nice gun. It, it's just a lot of gun. Uh, this is a gun that you would generally see on like Predator versus Alien where the guys are going out there and they're looking for the enemy, uh, the alien or the Predator, and they're trying to shoot them. It looks like one of the guns that they would use out there on the field. Now, the DRH, I used to use it when it first came out. I do not like this gun at all. It's, it's heavy, it shoots slow. It's not very good when it comes to uh, fast combat like multiplayer. Now, if you was out on the field on Battle Royal, this gun would probably suit you well if you like long shots. This is really good for long shots. And the Peacekeeper. Who loves the Peacekeeper? Just about everybody I know has played with the Peacekeeper. This was one of the first guns that I re remember them coming out with. Wow. How about that? Two of them with the same. Now, you got to be careful with that because just because they're both the same, one of them's going to go down when you add one of these on here. See the mobility just decreased. Congratulated. And looks like this is the best one. See how I normally put the graduated tape on it? But there wasn't one, so the firm grip was good. All right. They're different, different guns. I've got so many people want to play with me. I, I've literally come in first place like, see, I played five hours a day. You had about 20 games an hour. Oh, my goodness. And I had so many people wanting to be friends with me. This is a really sleek gun. I remember this gun um, working out really well. The Peacekeeper has always been a good gun. And it's a good gun of choice, especially for multiplayer. This gun is good in multiplayer. Depending on your attachments, the FR.556. Now, I've done videos on the attachments of these guns, so yeah. You can find the videos on my YouTube channel. I don't have all of them, but with this, you should be able to get all of the attachments that I have for these guns and I guarantee you that you will have some of the most precise shooting if you're good at marksmanship if your goal is not just to like shoot the person on the body but to like headshot 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 precise shot then you're gonna do really well my weapons are pristine okay here is a gun that I remember everybody wanted to use right off the bat when it first came out. This can be turned into a sniper rifle, a marksman rifle, like the, um, oh, yeah, I, I know what it is. I'll tell you here in a minute. The AS valve can be turned into a marksman rifle, just like the other, uh, NA-44. Is it an NA-45? I don't think so. It, it's really nice, though. It's really sleek. And, it, you know, they did one... They did a design on this. It was called Honeycomb. Who remembers the Honeycomb? 
uh, it, that made this look super, super nice. All right. The CR-56, a very, very interesting gun. I had a lot of fun with this gun because I was shooting people from one side of the map on the other side of the map. This gun was very, very nice. The M13. Most people just love this gun because it's a rapid firing gun just like the um, AK-117 and the Russ. This is a very, very rapid shooting gun. And it's very precise. It's lightweight and it, and it really does well in multiplayer. The Swordfish. The Swordfish was a very, very good gun in multiplayer. It is a long range gun. I did really, really well with this gun. I had some trouble running with it to do up close hip fire, but other than that, it was a very well made gun for the multiplayer. And there's the loadout for that. The Kilo. <laughs> the Kilo 141. Um, it was alright. It actually did alright. It shot like the DRH. Or the DHR. Or, yeah, I think it's DHR. It was a heavy, heavy shooting gun, but it did all right. It was fair. Odin, I did not like this gun at all. This gun really sucked in multiplayer. It is not a multiplayer gun. This is a BR gun. It took me a long time to get anywhere with this. It was bulky. The sight on it did not work without uh, putting a sight on it. The sight that comes with it was just, it was nasty. But that's the attachment I ended up with. This gun, the Kring 6, I had a lot of trouble with it until I put attachments on it. <laughs> when I put the attachments on, oh my goodness guys, this gun was beast. The EM-2. Now, the EM-2 comes with a scope already, so I didn't really have to use a scope, though I did use the red classic red dot sight to begin with. And then I just tried to find different versions of the gun that was going to work because once I started trying to do headshots and long shots and stuff... I was coming into some extreme difficulty. So I ended up finding out what the recommendation was for it. And this is what they recommended. It's a really sleek gun. Um, it's kind of kind of odd. I think I have an extended bag. Oh, sorry guys. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> sorry. But yeah, it, I think it has an extended mag. It's not the normal mag that I got on it that comes with it. 
30 round 40 yeah it, it's an extended it's not the normal round all right now we got three more to go guys this was one of the best guns that i have ever played with outside of the uh ak-117 and the russ this gun is beast i use this gun in zombies and it rips through zombies no other gun in zombies can and can do as well as this gun right here and it's just a really nice gun. This is the gun that I, we started off with. I told you about it. I absolutely do not like this gun at all. This gun really, really sucks. This is the one I spent five hours on today to get it to be gold. And I'm telling you, it doesn't matter how good you are. It will literally make you mad. This, it's just not a good gun. It, even whenever you got all the sights on it, the bullets still spray. You can be as accurate as you want to be, but the bullets will still spray. You'll get your target eventually, but you'll unload a full clip. Even with the best attachments. And that's the best that I could find for it. And it really, really sucks. And our latest gun, guys. The latest gun that this game has come out with for heavy ammunition... really sucked without attachments okay but once i finally put the attachments on this thing cut through people like butter it's a really sleek looking gold and that's what i got for you guys today the growl And I just left it like that for battle, uh, not battle royal, but multiplayer, guys, because that is what I'm going to be using eventually. But now that I have all of my guns where I want them, I am going to equip this gun. And I like to try to figure out what I got to do. It's allowing me to acquire. <laughs> it's allowing me to acquire. All right, guys. So this is Z Dog. Until next time.